everyone. I know it's been a long time because I did take the winter off, but spring is right around the corner and I am ready to share some information with you guys. I am eager to get back into the swing of things and with spring just around the corner, I want to share a list of seeds that you could be starting. So this is going to be according to my last frost date, which is um, give or take, it could be, the almanac tells me April 28th, okay? But I usually have a rule of thumb where I use Mother's Day as my last frost date no matter what. And lately, the last few years, it's been at least another week after Mother's Day when we get that last unexpected frost. So just to play it safe, I usually wait till the week after Mother's Day before I put anything outside. Now, this is a list of things that we can start indoors, that we can put outdoors under double cover, and this is going to be according to the week of March 13th. Like I said, I'm in grow zone five, but this list can be for zones about five or six, give or take. Seven might be a little bit earlier, but I have something to share for you towards the end of the video. So let's get started. All right, indoors, you can start these seeds indoors and you don't need any fancy grow lights. Let me just tell you that. You don't need anything fancy to put these seeds or to start these seeds indoors. A simple shop light would be fine. You're not trying to grow these seeds in order to produce any fruit. You're just trying to get them started and they just need a little bit of light, that's all. You're not, like I said, you're not producing fruit with this with these lights, so they, they don't have to be anything special. Now, indoors, you can start the week of the 13th. Artichoke, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, chives, dill, endive, kohlrabi, leeks, lettuce, onions, oregano, radicchio, sage, Swiss chard, and thyme. Okay, those are all seeds you can start indoors right now the week of the 13th. Now, if you have access to cover outside, uh, and I mean a double layer of protection, so that could be any combination. That could be a hoop house inside of a greenhouse, um, a grow, um, what is it, a cold frame inside of a hoop house, uh, row covers underneath a greenhouse, just double layer of protection. Okay, you get it. So there are th some things that you can start outside under a double layer of protection. And those are th those things are arugula, beets, bok choy, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, chives, collards, claytonia, endive, kale, kohlrabi, leeks, lettuce, mash, mizuna, mustards, onions, oregano, parsley, peas, radicchio, radishes, rutabaga, salsify, sorrel, spinach, Swiss chard, and turnips. You can start all those things outside right now under a double layer of protection. Now, like I said, I'm in zone five, and this list would be for zones five and six, roughly. And um, the one thing you can probably put outside under a single layer of protection would be Claytonia, and that's about it. It is still very cold right now, and at nighttime we get down in the single digits still. So it is not safe to put anything else outside under a single layer of protection. So with that being said, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to include a link in the description for this spreadsheet. Okay, now this spreadsheet you can manipulate to your own growing zone. All right, you can put your last frost date in the box and you can get a full list of what to plant inside, outside, and so on. 
Now, what you want to do is click on the link and open the spreadsheet. Okay? In the corner, you want to select File and then make a copy. All right, that'll give you your own copy of the spreadsheet and you can put your own frost date in there. Now your last frost date is going to be something that you're gonna to have to look up or perhaps you have a local uh, extension office that would be able to give you that information. Otherwise, a simple Google search can, my, what's my last frost date, put in your zip code and it should be able to give you a really good idea of what your last frost date is. Now your last frost date is not gonna be set in stone it's uh, give or take, you know, a couple weeks before or after, depending on what the weather is this year. Now, like I said, the last few years, um, we've gotten that unexpected frost um, week after Mother's Day. So I wouldn't put anything out. I, myself, personally, would not put anything out till after, a week after Mother's Day, at least. Um, because I, I did, a few years ago, I waited and Mother's Day week, I put my things out, I had grown them for weeks, and the week after Mother's Day, we got that frost and it killed almost all of my seedlings and I was so sad. So I don't want to go through that again. I've learned my lesson. I am not going to take any chances, but yeah. Like I said, that is the week of March 13th. These are all the seeds you can be planting right now in zones five and six. And if you're in zone seven, I would encourage you to download the spreadsheet and put your own frost date in and find out your list. So that's gonna do it guys. Until next time.